What's up everybody, my name is Lucas, and welcome to the start of my Dead Space 3 Let's Play. Um, it's been probably 4 or 5 months since I played Dead Space 2, I think. Um, but I'm excited to get back into it. Um, let's go on normal difficulty. I don't want to... Y'all have to watch me get owned, because there are some tough parts in this game. With the discovery of the Black Marker, um, an alien yeah. artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise the of... The old Gulf of Mexico? <laughs> until it produced dementia, insanity, and a So I've played about eight or nine hours of this problems. game with my buddy Cody. Um, we never beat the game. Um, so I have played a, probably 75% of the game. game. It's been three years at least, so I don't really remember a lot about it at all. Um, so this will kind of be like the first time. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, I really love the series, and I hate that I've never finished it out. I know that Dead Space 3 isn't exactly anybody's favorite, but it's a Dead Space game. It's definitely the weakest of the three in my opinion, but it's not the worst game in the world. Mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to also, this is like way too late in the timeline of the games to have this big info dump. Like, this is something that you would play at the beginning of the first game. But even then, I feel like it's unnecessary because one of the, the best things is reading through the journals and trying to figure out what's happening. Across the universe, where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But two hundred years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis Seven, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. Yeah, that was. That was fun stuff. The key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift. A mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by Earthgo. His mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis Seven. I guess you could say dust and echoes. Since that time, if you get that reference, please comment it, and I will have huge respect for you. The ability to build or destroy them stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet where 200 years ago someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. So I think this, that chick talking was very pro marker. Talking like that, the marker will save humanity. Yeah, this game has a very in-depth uh, crafting system, from what I remember. You actually get to like, you can like basically slap two guns together. Um, you can have like a shotgun on like the bottom part of it, and a pulse rifle, machine gun thing on the top, or whatever, just stuff like that. I always made sure I rolled with the classic plasma cutter, just because it's one of the coolest weapons in all the video games, and I will fight somebody if they disagree. <laughs> oh. Doing great, buddy. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoints I sent you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. Do, do you hear me? You have to get there. What? Oh, it's lost. What? Oh, 
Dang it. Dang it. I'm gonna put that uh, helmet back on before you catch hypothermia. There you go. I gotta say, like, this game, for all the crap that it has gotten over the years, okay, deservedly so in some instances, it is a damn good looking game. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. That gun's not even loaded. Super evil. Hey, Doc, I found it. Good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. Ah. Finally, some ammunition. Why did they send you in without ammo, buddy? You're looking good, buddy. Yeah, so... Game doesn't exactly start off very dead spacey, as you can see. I'm up here now. I got it. Doc, I got it. Got the nuke from uh not the nuke, but um Yeah, the nuke from Halo 4. I always wanted to do this. Not like this, obviously, but wanted to repel. Cool to see, and like if you hadn't had to fight just zombies at the very beginning, then it would have been a little better. Oh well, though. I'm really glad I came here. <laughs> Young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahan, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth, 
again the sovereign colonies. We've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. You... Yes, yes, sir, of course. Good. It's time for you to commit suicide, then. Glad to hear that. to this whole uh, marker thing. Those damn unitologists. So this is in the 26th century, so it kind of lines up with the Halo timeline, actually. Pick up the phone. Fine. Look, I just called to say I'm moving on. I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? Aw, uh, Ellie. Who goes there? Ah, oh, rookie move, Isaac. You gotta check your corners, man. You ask Clark? Get the fuck off. Answer me! Tim? Who the hell are you? Lift him up. Up! I don't have a lot of... The guy that actually has, um... I understand you're something of an expert on markers. Holding Isaac was actually the co-op partner. Your government made me. And you destroyed too, which is why we're here. Got a job for you. No! I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her. She told us to find you. Ellie. Where is she? What did you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them! Captain, run out of time. Gotta go. She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Aw, uh, give me my plasma cutter. I was just like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> Got a text log already. We lost a part of ourselves during that nightmare on the Titan Sprawl. For Ellie, it was her eye. Luckily, we found a replacement we could afford, even though the color doesn't quite match. At least she can feel whole again. Me, I lost a part of my soul. There's not a damn thing I can do to get that back, I guess. Ultimately, that's why she left. People want things they can fix, and I'm permanently broken. Poor Isaac. Okay. I said I'd help you. Now, where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll explain later. Hey. Who the hell are you guys? Earth Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left? There's a right! Go! Pretty big. Yep, and... Dead Space is becoming a cover shooter. <laughs> Eat all of the shit, Isaac. Somebody's make a video where they just do a counter, a running counter of all the shit that Isaac has eaten over the games. The 
damage. God, this feels so wrong. I mean, the gameplay feels alright, but it just feels like sacrilege. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. Huh. Fuck everybody on this freeway. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Oops. Yeah. You're a murderer, Isaac. EarthGov artifacts. Excerpt from into EarthGov. EarthGov officials yesterday denied rumors that the government was no longer able to contain the widespread violence that has gripped the colonies in recent weeks. The violence began 16 days ago on Lexor, following a year-long campaign by the Church of Unitology. Five colonies have gone dark since the Unitology riots began. There have been rumors of bombings at government laboratories and eyewitnesses' accounts of brutal killings following shortly after. Fun stuff. She just... Take all the unitologists out back and shoot them in the face. That I think that's probably our best bet. Weapon switch. Oh, I do have my plasma cutter. Ooh. Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. We have become too many, too little to go around. It's one of the most frustrating things about, even in real life, but mainly in video games, people that are like, oh, humans need to end, there's too many humans, and like they never, <laughs> like we need to have population control, but they never, um, they never offer to have themselves be part of that population control. This isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, notice. But why topple the government? Why Earth Gov? Dan explains them for experimenting with the marker. Thinks it's heresy. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. Okay. Yeah, I remember this mission decently well, but once we get out of here, I'm not very, very familiar. Game over. This one's still alive. Bring him here. Damn. Isaac Clark. 
Just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? That's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you help make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No, no. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. We just immediately affected all of us. <laughs> we all turned into necromores. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. No, you. Doing great, Isaac. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck off, you bitches. Oh my god. You guys are a lot tougher than I thought you would be. Yeah, so I forget. I wonder if they're gonna kinda try to explain why these necromorphs look so different. So rule number one about uh, dead space, never trust dead bodies that look too alive, that makes sense. Like that one, that, that body's alive, see? Two. Two. See, that's kind of cool how they have different stuff um, pop out of them. My, I don't like that. Usually, right click is your um, what you call it, your uh, objective. But Have now it's crouch. All dead. Dan, it got here first. Fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the track. Is it a good plan though? Also, you gotta make sure that you're always aiming forward when you're coming up an elevator. Creepy damn shop. Hey, 
security breach in progress. We have been immediately Oh, you guys are fast. Another uh, tip you gotta know with these games is if you're fighting somebody in front of you, there is a more than good chance that there's someone behind you as well. Stop being so fast.
was that? A boy. My boy. Kid. He's dead. Dad had killed him. And his mother. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't be. We're not friends. I'm so hostile. Well, thanks for the rescue back there. Try harder next time. Guard, find school weekend. Yeah. Good. We're almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. Why do you still have a gun out like that? <laughs> you threatened me? Okay, I think that is a good place to stop for this part. Um, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, and I hope that you will join me on future parts of this uh, Let's Play. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but until next time, see ya.